back again on the bench and this time we have got the Ryan German signature Squire Muzuar, quote unquote Muzuar, not officially branded but that's what we're calling it. Mustang cross with a Jaguar is what the idea was and is. It is the number one, let's say, current, um, for the last few years, number one guitar of Ryan's in the, the Fiesta Red, not with the matching headstock though. Strangely enough, why they didn't do that, I don't know, because the couple, the Burgundy Mist one has a matching headstock, the Apple Green one has the matching headstock. Uh, I've just done a video about that, just a quick rundown and overview of that thing and a little bit of uh, history, let's say, behind that colour and how it came into possession, Ryan's possession. They were an abandoned colour from factory. I don't think it really got out there. Um, so there might have been a few different variations in shades of green, but apparently uh, Fender of China, the manufacturers, we're having some trouble with the colour mix. Who knows? Ryan has it though. This is the main workhorse of the cribs. We've got shows coming up in about 48 hours time. We'll be on a plane to Italy somewhere. We've got a show on the Saturday and a show on Sunday or back over in the UK. So I'm just right came around to my uh, house this morning to drop this off and um, we've got a we've got a dead spot in a fret somewhere and i think just with checking with my uh, uh leveling gauge fret rocker it's somewhere down here actually and i can feel that the strings are foofed as well from some heavy playing last week on the other one show and so there's probably some bends and kinks in that we're going to get that sorted for the show. I refretted this quite a few years ago with stainless steel frets. Fantastic job, of course, because I did it. And with them being steel, they will last God knows. Till the cows come home. So no fret wear on this other than a little bit of friction, uh, like, there's no real indentations in the frets it's all solid but there's like this signs of playing in there in little scrapes and stuff and it does tend to smack the guitar sometimes on top of the amp uh, and so they'll come from impact strings impacting the frets will sometimes cause there's a little bit there i can see we'll get them out as well while we're leveling and polishing this Fiesta Red it is the one with the arm contour and belly cut. You can see from the rear there it's had some nice belt buckle rash chipped away there in the finish. The colour's probably not coming across that great on this camera, um, but whatever, there it is. As with all of Ryan's personal guitars, oh, and I made a bone nut for it as well. I made the bone nut rather than the plastic uh, cheap one that comes with it. As with Ryan's personal guitars, I always disconnect the slider switches and this neck pickup for like whatever phase in series parallel. I can't remember what it was supposed to be like at stock issue, but we disconnected all that, bypassed everything straight through to volume and tone. I even said we should just go straight to volume and out to jack, but we kept the tone. It's had some smashing about there and see the plates indented. And then we swapped the pickup out for a this is a Dimazio super distortion. We are now discussing um, putting a Taltec or quote unquote Lev Duncan, as Roy likes to say, um, humbucker in there, swapping this out for something a little more uh, PAF style Alnico rather than the compressed super distortion ceramic magnet like this. He's been used to these for many years and he's just wanting a change now, I think. 
So we're going to talk about that and cook up a Toltec humbucker there and maybe maybe keep a couple of different styles in the different guitars for different tonal characteristics so not every instrument is exactly the same. So here it is. We're going to address that fret issue which I don't think is major. It's, I can feel just a slight bit there. Slight bit of rock because obviously I refretted this. There we go. Um, many, well, I don't know, five, six years ago. And, you know, obviously I'm a genius at it, so it's very surprising how we've got that. But, you know, things happen. It's more likely to be something maybe is, over time there's compression in the neck. The neck's getting pulled up by the strings this way. There's fret slots wanting to squeeze the fret tang which can force frets to want to rise out of the board. We've got humidity things of temperature changes over the winter and summer months. Things flex, we've got a high spot. That is what it is. We're gonna lightly level that off. It's really minuscule, so we're not. Because you see, disappears from there on. So that's what he brought to me today. And that is the, Fiesta Red, Ryan's number one workhorse, Muzua, made in China, crafted in China, it says actually, designed and backed by Fender, as they were, you can't get this anymore, if you are wanting to find one of these, you're going to have to go in the used market, and I've had quite a lot of the retail versions come through my shop, for custom mods doing the burgundy mist i've made scratch plates i've made black scratch plates i've made tort shell plates i've made pickups for people like the one i made for rye in the green one um like clones i've done the mods that i do for these because people are fans are wanting their mostly are to be like ryan's own personal ones and so that's what we do with changed a couple of the bridges out on some of them for the Cluson quote unquote harmonica the big wide one um, because the range of saddle movement on these tuna mic style bridges can be quite limited so we're not we're getting a little bit of intonation issues 24 inch scale they just did it like to the right angle of the center line. Usually a tunematic placement would be base side offset roughly about three degrees. So you imagine like offset this way. That's why you see that slant in them for compensation and intonation issues. I can see that there's a saddle which looks in the completely wrong position for what we want to see or what we want to hear intonation wise here. I suppose that's my job, right? We'll address that. I'm going to give this that uh, set up. Although these strings, they've done one 60 minute show and the plain ones feel like they've got another couple of shows in them. The wound strings are absolutely dreadful. There's so much fret indentation under there from the hard aggressive playing plus the impact damage. Now I have waffled on too long about this now. Any questions you might have about them for me, as long as you're not boring the piss out of me and I've got time, I'll answer them. But yeah, it's battle damage, there's chips and dents and all sorts of funky shizzle going off with it there. No doubt it's going to get launched through the air on Saturday as well. But we're here to deal with that. And what a fun, fun time we're going to have. Ryan Mozua, Squire, easy in it.